Hey guys, I'm back for another video. So first, I'm going to spray Mario Badescu on my face. Then go on with Anastasia's Dip Brow in Medium Brown. And I am planning to do a more in-depth tutorial on my eyebrows. So I'm just going to let y'all watch for right now. Okay, so then I carve them out on the top. I'm just defining them. Today I'm going for a more defined brow. And I'm just feathering out in the front. And I'm taking the Better Skin Concealer and just cleaning it up with a flat brush on the top. Dang girl, look at those brows. And I'm going in for this Seriously Shine Free Matte Moisturizer, which I love. Like, you could really see the difference before and after between the matte and, the, like, oily skin. It's really good for uh, oily skin. It's only, like, four or five bucks. Maybe six. I swear I love Zootopia. It's ridiculous. And I'm just showing you right now all the colors that I'm going to be using from the semi-sweet chocolate bar. Yes, it smells so good. And I'm just going to take it all over my lid. And then I'm going to go in with pudding. And I'm putting it in my crease as a transition color. And the main goal for this whole uh, look is just blend, 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 blend until your hand hurts. And then I'm going to go in with a little bit of truffled, which is the darker or medium shade brown. And I'm just going to blend it in and then I'm taking hot fudge right now and I'm tapping it into my V and then just moving it and blending it around into my crease. I'm not really bringing that one up so much. So it just creates dimension and stuff. And then I'm going to go in with the brush that I had before and just blend, blend, blend. And then I'm going to take a butter pecan from the same palette and just put it on my brow bone so it gives me more lid space illusion and then put some in my tear duct and I'm gonna go back in with that brush girl and keep on blending and then I'm taking back with the better skin concealer and I'm putting it on my lid right now just to give me more of a lid space pretty much because I feel like I just blended it too much and it went kind of down I'm taking my stay matte powder just to set that concealer so it doesn't go anywhere and I'm gonna take my wet and wild eyeliner it's pretty good since now they don't sell the NYC I use this one but if you could still get your hands on the NYC one which I don't think you can I would rather use that one and I'm just creating a bomb ass cat eye everybody let's just hold our breaths so that I don't mess up right here uh it just still gives me anxiety just looking at this. I hate, I love my cat eyes and then I hate them because they just like, ugh, they give me so much nerves. And then I'm just going to go on the bottom and clean it up. It was pretty clean. I just wanted to make it look like crisp, you know, and then kind of change the shape of the bottom a little bit. And I do it to both sides and I'm going to take my Fit Me Maybelline foundation. I'm in shade 220. And I'm just going to put it all over my face and I'm taking my Morphe M B. 230 I think the brushes and I'm just gonna buff it into my face because I am looking for a more full coverage foundation today or I'm trying to make it more full coverage and so pretty much what I do with this brush is I just buff it and then later on I'll pick up the excess with the beauty blender just so I don't look cake face you know and I'm taking my Maybelline Age or Wine and color neutral just to highlight my cheekbones and my forehead a little bit of the tip of my nose the top of my lips and my shin if you don't have that concealer go get it girl and I'm taking my air spun if you don't know how to bake I'm gonna leave my link down below because I have already made a video about baking and stuff because a lot of people do ask me about that yes girl get it get it and then I'm gonna set the rest of my face with my Fit Me powder, same color, 220, before I put on my bronzer. And that's a good thing to do so your bronzer won't skip or you won't look like patchy and stuff. You wanna look even, girl? And I bought, I was too cheap to go and buy the full NYX contour powder thing. So I bought just like the, the thing that comes with it. And I think like the refillables, yeah, it's in shade Sculpt. It's only like five bucks. And I'm going to put it on my forehead and 
there's this one thing you really want to make sure that you don't get a bronzer helmet so I went back with the powder brush that had my regular setting powder on it and I just went over it so I don't get a bronzer helmet now I'm just like kind of mm, giving shape back to my nose carving it out making that shit look skinny girl get it <laughs> and then I'm going back with the air spun just so I can clean up the lines on the edges of my nose contour so it doesn't look messy or I have like a muddy nose like it looks pretty crispy you know and I'm taking my Jeffree Star Cosmetics highlight and eclipse of course putting that shit on the tip of my nose on the top of my nose so it can give my nose some dimension and before my glue dried, I went to go put on my eyelashes. These are the Vegas Nay Grand Glamour. They're the nicest eyelashes for that cheap. And I used her mink ones, but they're like, whatever. And I'm using my Wet n Wild mascara because I couldn't find my, what is it, the Big Shot lashes. So I had to settle for the boo-boo one. And I went back with that Jeffree Star. I hit my brush with a little bit of um mario budescu and i dipped it in because that's how i use it i <laughs> i'm going in with some chapstick so my lips don't chap going with that nyx liquid suede in shade uh i don't know i'll put it on the link below it's so cute and so dark but i think they should work on like the application because you do have to go over it a couple of times but you know for the price it's good Alrighty, well thank you for watching. I will be making more videos, so just stay tuned. Bye!